it's Deanna and I am here live with you today. Um, today is Friday, May 29th. So we've gotten through the month of May and today we are going to make some quilted hot pads. So we made one on Wednesday of a quilted hot pad that had no binding on it and it was long and skinny and I gave it to Luke. It's like this one. There is a free pattern at Stitches Quilting. There's actually two different free patterns. Um, the no binding method um, has both of these sizes and then the binding method has both of these sizes. So, um, so there's two different free patterns at Stitches Quilting. Let me know where you are from. Um, hi Robin, hi everybody. Um, I am in Salt Lake City, Utah and I am coming to you live from Salt Lake. So I just thought with everybody cooking and doing things nowadays, it's kind of fun as a gift to make someone a hot pad and to make it kind of long and skinny and, you know, make one where they can get their, whatever they're getting out of the oven, out of the oven nice and safely. So, and it's always fun to have something new. Oh, let me put in the, um, the link so that you can get that pattern through Facebook. Um, hold on, I've got to just go on there really fast. Um, let's see here, let me go to um, this one. Wait, let me go back, let me go back, back, back. Sorry guys, um, I forgot about that. So you can find the pattern at Stitches Quilting. For YouTube, it's going to be in the description of the video. And for, let me go ahead and change this and then it will be activated. Um, this one right here and I need to change the link so that we have you on the right um, uh, post. Hold on, where did that go? Um, hot, hot, oh, here it is, right here. Let me do view. And so you guys have the right link on Facebook to go and get that um, post easily. Um, this is the quilted um, hot pad is what the name of the blog post on the website. And the other one is the easy no binding um, quilted cookie sheet hot pad. So the other one is really good, I think, for kids or for anybody. And, um, but also for your kids that are staying home at this time, this is a great project for them. So on Facebook, you can now request it and it will come through what you're, what you're getting. So free patterns, go download them. Go ahead and download them. This one I am gonna make for my son, Jake. Jake is on his mission and um, on a mission in New York, upstate New York for two years. So I don't get to see him for two years, but he's been in quarantine there. And I'm gonna make one for him. And they always have a missionary companion and one for his companion. Um, they both said they like royal blue fabric, but his companion loves to make homemade bread and um, actually has like a bread maker machine. And it's really cute. And I'm just so grateful that that young man doesn't mind making my son bread and just making that apartment smell warm and cozy and everything as he's been in quarantine, I think for like maybe 90, 80 days. I don't know, how long have we been doing this? But poor Jake, um, they're, they're really kind of strict in New York and his mission president where he is, they are strict with them. They teach um, via video and all of that. So they're, they're busy, but they're definitely in their apartment doing everything. I'm gonna set these aside and let's get to layering this. So I don't know, do I make Jake's, Jake's or companion or should I make Jake's? It's so hard to decide. I don't wanna go super fast, but maybe I'll work on Jake's. Okay, so I have cut myself strips of binding for this and I am using this really pretty fabric. Have you guys noticed how navy blue fabric is so, oh, let me see where all the comments are. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me go ahead and refresh this so I can see comments. I can see comments on Instagram. Do you guys notice how navy blue fabric is out of stock everywhere? It is that way for me too. So my supplier, oh, hello, everybody. Yes. Oh, you can't download, Peggy. Um, okay, is it, can someone let me know if you're getting the link? I think I think the link is getting to you on Facebook. But navy blue fabric is like out of stock. So I'm like giving Jake a little bit of my navy blue fabric because I need this 
for the um for the live well live strong quilt kit so navy blue fabric what happened is the military came in and bought all navy blue from all the manufacturers that that had it in stock so i can't even order navy blue but um but it is uh it is really difficult to find if you ever find navy blue in stock buy the navy blue if you need navy blue because it's well black is that way white is starting to get that way gray has been that way but there's lots of shades of gray so it is kind of hard to kind of tell um you know where fabrics are coming from so anyways just to let you know so but what i did is i pieced part of this navy blue because i'm using some of my scraps of navy blue that i found that i had is that just not so ridiculous that i'm piecing this for jake anyways but i really have to hoard my navy blue because um, I sell the quilt kits for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt, and I have to have those. Um, hi, Melody. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Liz. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. It really is. So let's get started on this. So what we're going to do, I have everything pre-cut here. I have one side navy blue that is 8 by 36 inches. This side, isn't this a beautiful fabric? Um, uh, this is, I've used this in another quilt for Jake. So we have, I know you have lots of scraps that you can make these things with. But um, anyway, so I have two pieces right there. And then these are for the handles. So let's stitch together. I have thermal lamb for the, for inside. And I also have batting for inside. So I'm going to layer mine with one layer of thermal lamb and one layer of batting. These are cut eight inches by 36 inches. So, and then this is for the handles right here the batting for the handle. So let's go ahead and get going with this. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch together the handles. And I feel like I cut this way too long. Um, I was trying to pre-cut everything. Oh, it says it's right. And um, get everything ready. So let's go ahead and go right here. And um, so this is, you're going to cut, uh, the pattern has it where you cut an 8 by 11 and an 8 by 9 inch piece. Still just doesn't look right and then I'm going to stitch these together right here with my sewing machine and I put on this really beautiful blue thread in my sewing machine and it, it's so pretty it's just a really really pretty um, shade of blue I'll show it to you when I pull this through let's go ahead and string feed though for I don't know for because that's what we as quilters do is we string feed oh let me switch my camera so you can see this we string feed our pieces together. So here we go, I'm string feeding this. I had a really good design idea. So maybe I'll do that. I do a live video every Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday at noon. And today I am actually watching Ellie. Um, their parents, my son and his wife, they bought a house only about 15 minutes from where I live. So I'm gonna press these and then I'm going to press them in half again. So uh, Jane says we are out of navy blue in the UK because they are sewing scrubs here all over the country, yes. So navy blue, you know what, It it is crazy, isn't it? Now we're gonna fold this over so we can see just a little bit of this popping through, okay? Which I kinda did that other little seam there. Oh, let me show you the pretty thread. It's such a pretty shade of well, you probably can't see it real well. Oh, we're going up here on this camera, on the overhead camera for YouTube and Facebook. So let's go ahead and fold this over. Yeah, there is um, just unusual things that people are doing for, um, you know, for uh, that people are sewing and the needs. And it's unusual the things that kind of become out of stock and then back in stock. Um, there is a shipment of navy blue fabric coming for Riley from Riley Blake across the ocean. It is on the ship and it's on its way. So we're going to take this handle right here. Let me grab this and I'm going to lay this. I only have one layer of batting inside the handle. So this is going to be a handle. If you want your edges curved on your handle, use a bowl to help you with that. So I'm going to lay this inside the center of my handle and you'll see my my thread now that we have this kind of open okay and I could use a couple safety pins 
to just kind of stabilize this. But sometimes what I like to do is just lay this, when you have a small project, just lay it on here and kind of press all your layers together before you start machine quilting on your quilt because it really kind of holds it. I don't know, it kind of congeals it. Not quite certain how to describe that, but it really kind of, it just kind of makes it all come together. But I'm gonna put a couple pins in this and we're gonna quilt this part of the handle. So let's go ahead and lay this in here. And the first thing I'm going to do for the quilting is I'm gonna go right along those little lines right here. And we'll see, can you please post all the sizes of each piece of the fabric? Yes, um, after um, your vlog for reference. Yes, um, all of it, Nancy, if you ask for the pattern on Facebook, because you're on Facebook, um, it will send you the link of where you can go get the pattern. It's a free pattern. It's a free, free, free pattern. So if you just say, send me the pattern, it will send you the pattern on Facebook. On YouTube, it's on the description of, um, under the description of the video. And on Instagram, I'll put a link to the pattern in my stories, okay? And then you can swipe up on my stories for it. Okay, so I just kind of went back and forth there. One thing I find that really helps when I'm quilting, oh, I need to change it to my um, quilting foot. Okay, so let's switch out my quilting foot. Hopefully you guys have one, but if you don't, it's okay. Um, um, it's okay if you don't have one. I didn't have one for a really long time when I first started quilting, I don't know how many years ago, probably like 27 years ago. Um, but, so I made it work without a quilting foot for a long time, but then I finally got a quilting foot and it was so nice. So let's go ahead and put this in here. And let me show you the sewing machine over here, Instagram, so that you guys can see what is going on and that looks good. And you can also use, oh, now I can't open that, but you can use a little, maybe I should try to open that, hold on because there is a tool. Oh, I got it, I got it out. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen this tool. What do you call this tool, you guys? What do you call this tool? Somebody help me with the name of this tool. But you put it in the back of your, your foot and you can measure, and I actually tape mine. Where's my tape, here's my tape. I actually kind of put mine in place and measure it. Okay, but I showed you on Wednesday's video how you can actually just do something, do your quilting really random. There we go. And I showed you with Luke's. Um, I did some lines and I made sure I wasn't real consistent. I think something caught right there. Go ahead and pull that through. Yeah, I have a thread. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's keep going. Here, there we go. Um, so I showed you on Wednesday how you can kind of, I'm gonna use this little bar. What do you call the bar? Does anybody have a stitching guide? Thank you. Yes, yes, Liz says she has to tape hers too. So I keep like some washi tape or painter's tape just real handy next to me. So I can um, go ahead and um, do that quickly. So this is for Jake to send to, but I kind of want one navy blue like this too. It's so pretty. I'm gonna grab this other one and put the batting in it so I can kind of string feed and bat at the same time. Okay, let's press this real quickly because we want that kind of like that, hmm, I don't know, it's kind of like that cohesive field. Yes, a stitching guide. So that little metal thing, it usually comes with your long arm foot, but if you, or your quilting foot, if you didn't get one, that's okay. You can still go onto Amazon and just request a stitching guide. And then that way you'll have one. I didn't pin this, but I think with my pressing, I'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around real fast. And just, I'm because I'm stitching in the ditch of this handle. Whoop, something's catching right there. Oh, my, my, that happens sometimes. My little foot came out. Someone is trying to live chat me on my website. 
when you go to my website and you actually live chat, you are live chatting with me. Let's see here. My needle came out from putting on. That's so funny. Um, I need a screwdriver. It's hard to open up this container with my, I'm going to have to take off my quilting foot. Hold on. My, I loosened my needle. Okay, let's bring this up. I loosened the screw that holds my needle. So just one second, let me find my screwdriver. There we go. Okay, got to keep that back on there. Let's put this back together. Is there something in between there? Something, okay, there. Okay, let's get this back on and let's put our needle back in. So if anything like this happens, you just go ahead and fix it. And then I just put my needle back in, but you can definitely have a little um, clunkiness. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten that a little bit with my screwdriver so it doesn't come back off. I'm gonna put back on my machine quilting foot. Okay, so today I have to make another mask. Luke is going, Luke loved his, um, could you recycle old jeans for these if blue fabric isn't available? Absolutely. And you can find different shades of blue. Like for example, I've got this really beautiful blue in stock. It's called Midnight Blue. Um, I've got some other blues in stock. It's just hard to find navy blue is all. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on there. Let me pull my thread a little bit and bring my foot down where I want that to start. Okay, there we go. And then I'll redo my stitching guide with the tape. Um, you can find um, different shades of blue. It's just for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt that's behind me. We're gonna start that sew along again real soon. And for that quilt, you, um, you know, I just have it with navy blue in there. And I need three yards of navy blue for every one of those kits. And um, so I have got maybe 60 yards of navy blue fabric on order. And they say that I'll get it just sometime in June. And then the other stuff that I do have, I am holding on to um, because I have to cut kits for that. And it does come, the quilt comes in other shades and other things. We could use the textured blue for it if we need to. And I've purchased some really, you can find textured navy blues out there that are just absolutely beautiful fabric. So I kind of have like a navy blue um, textured um, shabby fabric that's really pretty that I like. And um, there's some really pretty colors out there. So you can see the stitching. So I've just kind of changed the stitching color here of my sewing machine. I'm using a really pretty blue color. Um, you guys can see on Facebook and YouTube this color right here. Isn't that a pretty thread? Anyways, it's an Aurifil thread right there. Okay, let's go ahead and trim these apart and string feed these through. Okay, let's bring those back through. All right, I gotta turn this this way. So I'm putting my stitching guide. Let me show you on Instagram. I'm lifting that stitching guide just on there and then I'm bringing that through. Now, the way that we quilted these on Wednesday is we just did tons of match stitch quilting back and forth, back and forth. And we did it so that we didn't have to, um, you know, we weren't measuring the distance between everything. And then we did some little squiggle lines on top. So I'm just kind of showing you how you can measure your domestic quilting. And this is a great way to kind of, if you're wanting to build your domestic machine quilting skills, this is a great way to do that um, with a hot pad and you can kind of experiment with some free motion. You could experiment with matchstick quilting. You could actually experiment with some ruler work. And maybe we'll do some more of that in a little bit. But there's definitely different things that you can do to get that great look that you're wanting. So let me go ahead and trim this thread and let's push this through again. And so you guys get the feel of this. Let's go ahead and do our next part of this. We've almost got this done. But, and this is a great project if you've got kids or grandkids at home that would like 
to sew something. This is just a great, great project, especially this one that turns inside out. So that was the one that we did on Wednesday. And you could make this narrower and longer, or you could make this wide and, and fat. So whichever way you want to make those, there's options in the free pattern for you. So you just go to stitchesquilting.com and download the patterns and they're just a, they're available for you guys. I like to, you know, make things available no matter what you want to do. So, but sometimes I like to take the pressure off and really modern quilting. I mean, there's a lot of line work, uh, but quilting in this day and age, straight lines and things that kind of go back and forth. Um, you know, it looks just so classy and it looks so good. But I'm going to show you once again that if you're not pleased with your machine quilting, I'm going to show you some techniques that you can do there. Okay? Sometimes, the other thing I do, I have got a whole pile of uh, my navy blue scraps. This is a plaid that would be very easy to follow the lines on this. So you might want to pull some fabrics from your stash that have some line work on it and you can actually follow the lines in the fabric whether it's a gingham, whether it's anything that you have um, that's got some type of pattern to it, you can use the fabric as some line work on there. So there's so many different options of things that you can do. All right, this is the last one on this, and then I'm going to show you what I am gonna do, because we're gonna add a couple squiggly lines here, just so we don't feel too much pressure. I wanna show you that again. So I am going to, so here we have it nice and quilted. You can see right there, here's the back. See how that looks? It actually looks pretty good. Um, here we go. I've got just like a little line that's slightly off right there when I was going. But I do wanna show you guys the squiggle. I might just fix this tiny bit of a line. I know that's really silly. But anyways, I think that this is looking really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put like a little squiggle in there, okay, with the line work. So let me show you how I do that. We did this this last week. You guys, does anybody have fun plans? Okay, so we're gonna just go like this and we're adding a line that kind of has some fluid motion to it. And I'm just putting it anywhere on this to just give it a little bit more organic feel. And remember when you're machine quilting, you just want to be consistently inconsistent. So, and you just kind of want to throw in some inconsistent things, and I'll show you what this looks like in just a minute. But throw in some, a little bit of inconsistencies so that it just doesn't look off. You know, everything looks planned and planned out. So we'll just go ahead and do like a couple little things in here. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this looks. Oh, so I was telling you guys. Okay, can you see how that looks right there? I'm showing Instagram. Let me show Facebook and YouTube. So see how I just add a little bit of a wave right there. I'm gonna add one more, maybe right here, but to tell you the truth, I don't think anyone will ever really see that because that's we're gonna curve this out. So just that little bit of I did that also on this pillow right here, which there's another free pattern. This is the Healthcare Hero pillow. Um, just easy, fun thing to do. So there's lots of free patterns at Stitches Quilting. Just go through the whole thing and you'll see lots of fun things in there. Um, I don't know, I probably should one day. You guys, go download the patterns before I like compile them all into one like assortment for sale or whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna square this up just a little bit. Okay, you can see my extra threads. Look at how wonderful that looks. Okay, let's layer the next section really fast. And then I'm going to have another one of these and I'm going to show you guys how to do the binding on it on Monday. Okay, so we're gonna do just a fun binding tutorial and I am going to show you my first ever quilt that I had. For this um, hot pad, I'm going to use navy blue fabric as the backside. So right here, usually what I do is I use a darker fabric on this side of the hot pad where you're gonna grab your hot objects. 
because that way it won't get as dirty or soiled. And I use my lighter fabrics on the top. There's lots of this fabric in stock if you guys want to stock up on some for Christmas, which is really a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and pull this out. So this is my navy blue side. And I am going to layer this so that the navy blue is touching the thermal lamp. So you want your thermal lamp to kind of be the, if you're using thermal lamp. If you don't have thermal lamp, just layer two layers of batting, okay? It works anyway, you guys. It doesn't need to be too fancy. Just make it happen. So this is eight by 36 inches for this. Okay, let's do this other one. This is this beautiful fabric. I love this fabric. I don't know why, you guys, but isn't that just a gorgeous print? We're going to press this in just one second because um, I pulled these out of my stash. Um, this is a fabric that I've used in a quilt before for Jake. So it's kind of fun. He can have memories of this fabric in a quilt and the memories of it as a hot pad I sent him during quarantine. Okay, I am pressing these layers together um, just to kind of get that cohesive feel to it. And remember, this hot pad doesn't have to be exactly eight inches wide. It doesn't have to be exactly 36 inches long. So if you've got some fabric that in your stash that isn't quite the right size, please just use it, okay? I feel like I almost need to spritz this a little bit. Some of these um, pleats, these have been folded in my stash for quite some time. But, um, so just kind of customize it to what, how you feel you need. That is a hard um, press right there, or fold. I'm gonna, I just spritz that just a tiny little bit. Okay, so I feel like these layers are in, and I'm gonna just do some lines kind of coming straight down. It is a pretty shade of blue, Laura. I totally agree with you. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I, I'd love to see some closer up pics of the applique. Oh, you guys, I have some fun ideas that we're maybe going to do on Monday. Maybe I'll just put a couple pins in this. I don't want to have to spend. Remember, I'm going to just do straight lines on this. So this is going to go really fast. And we're going to just do straight lines kind of coming down this 36 inches. And that's a great activity for, say, a, a young child to do, okay, to learn how to put these layers into a sewing machine. So let's just bring a layer down, this center part, and let's quilt this. Okay, guys, so here we go. And I'm going to just bring it down. And I'm going to just try to have this be a nice straight line. If it goes a little askew, it's okay right? I haven't pinned this very much, but it's all right because when we square it up, it's all going to work out, all right? Because fabric moves as you're quilting it. All right, here we go. Oh, Instagram, I didn't change the camera angle. I'm so sorry. Maybe move that down just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just running that through. Let's go ahead and we could probably flip it around this way. I'm gonna bring it over and I'm just gonna do another straight line coming down. So you can see it just goes so quickly and they look so great. They're just so much fun and easy, easy to make and it just kind of cheers up. Did you guys see the video of Luke getting his hot pad yesterday? Did you guys see that? He felt so important. And then he was calling people all day telling him I made him a hot pot. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny, but he felt really special. So just making even a small item for something that's handmade just makes people feel important. It makes them feel loved. And it's such a kind gesture to do whether they like it or not. I don't care if people are going to like what I make. It's okay. It's okay if the fabrics aren't perfect. Um, they know that I care about them. So whether it's it's received in such a way where they're, they're maybe snubbing it, it's okay to not have someone just fall in love with your 
your hand wares, but to me, it makes them feel important. I love to think about them as I'm making my gift. So I'm okay if someone isn't super like crazy, you know, in love with something that I make. So, and I'm just kind of pulling these down at different widths. And I think that will be just fine for this. So you guys can see me feeding these through. And it's really turning out good, isn't it? What a beautiful um, hot pad this will be. Um, the apartment that Jake's in, they're always furnished apartments, but they didn't have cooling racks. So last week I shipped them cool cooling racks um, for their bread making and stuff. So it's fun to see the new things that people are actually doing and making and having fun. Okay, I'm just pulling this through again. Different widths. I'm not being precise about this. My little, um, the vibration is why your foot comes loose. Yes, I know, Luke loved his gift. That was so funny yesterday. And you guys, Luke has had caregivers since he was probably eight years of age with his special needs. And there was a cute family that they, he, he was a caregiver for Luke um, in Texas is where they live now, Dallas, Texas. And he saw that video, and it was from him working with Luke that he actually met his wife, which was a childhood friend of ours, that she did an internship with Corey, a legal internship, and lived with us. And they met with, you know, Luke being a, um, with him working with Luke. So it's been really cute, the impact that Luke has had on other people's lives. And people having an impact on our lives too. So, so it's just important to remember that we have intentional crossings of paths with everybody that we know, and and everybody kind of has an influence on us. Okay, we're gonna be done with this, and then we're gonna layer these. And let me see what time it is. I think we're going too long on this live video. Here we go. Okay, now you're gonna see this construction. All right, let's pull this back. Okay, we've got all of our pieces. Let's go ahead and maybe go to the front camera for YouTube and um, Facebook. Yes, I changed it. All right, so we have this piece right here, which is our main piece of the hot pad. And I love the quilting on there. Um, that blue thread is just so pretty. I'm gonna want to. Now what we do is we layer this piece right here. So that's one of the handles. I'm gonna stick a pin in it and just kinda, we'll square these up in just a moment. Let me put two pins in it. And we're going to uh, bring this over. Remember, I want this to be the back side of the hot pod that might get dirty with the soil of it. So then my handles are right over here so you can see, and I'm gonna just lay them here on this front side of the hot pad. Okay, let's go ahead and stick a pin in it over here. And then now we're going to just put this binding on here. Should I save that binding for a different video? Um, I know Liz, no, 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 wait, wait, okay, Liz says, my goodness, he's gonna have so much stuff to bring back. He's in Buffalo, New York right now, Liz. Liz lives up in Canada. How far is that from you? I think that's a further away. But anyways, um, so we're going to want to square this up. But no, the cooling racks he'll leave in that apartment, okay? The cooling racks he'll leave in the apartment. Sorry, I have a computer screen over here where I see all the comments and stuff like that. But the he'll, he'll leave that in the apartment, so that will be kind of fun. But that's how you go ahead and you put together this hot pad. So now we prepare the binding for it, and I think I should save this for maybe Monday's video, but I might have something really fun. But it's good to kind of do like a really good binding tutorial, show you how to piece these together, show you how to fold them in half, and on Monday, so I might have something really special. But anyways, on Monday, I will show you how I do my bindings 
And I'm going to have a super fun thing, is I'm gonna show you one of my first quilts that I bound. And it has curved corners. The corners are not pointy, okay? It's like a, it's, I didn't know how to do bindings on my first quilt and it's really cute, okay? So I'm gonna pull that quilt out for you. It was a quilt I made for Nick when he was young. So probably like 27 years ago. And I will show you that. And so on Monday, I think we should wait. Um, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so on Monday, I think we should wait for the binding and, um, we'll see and, and we'll see what happens. So, but I am going to go ahead. I have to now, um, I'm going to make the other one for his companion so that his companion has his own. And I'm using this really pretty blue right here. And then this as the coordinating print on that. So I've got this one all right here. I'm going to do that today. What are you guys stitching on today? And um, on the weekend and stuff, what are you planning on working on? I've got some really great secret kind of fun plans. I'm working on so much stuff. I can't even tell you. It's so exciting. I love to wake up every single day and just start tackling the things in my brain and execute them out. Um, so I can share it with all of you guys, whether it's a free pattern that I'm doing, um, that I have got some fun stuff planned, you guys, and it's going to be so fun. So anyways, I look forward to waking up every day and, and tackling the stuff. And I am so grateful that Luke has a day program to go to now and that um, I can go ahead and run out, I, that he can go ahead and leave for the day and I can be able to, to make and create you know, just beautiful things. And we have our little tiny heart that you can give to someone as a gift. Um, Jane, the pattern will go to you for the hot pads when you make a comment on Facebook. Um, there is this quilted binded um, hot pad one. This is the no binding one. Um, there's a free pattern for the heart healthcare hero quilt. Um, and there is the free pattern for the little tiny heart. That's the um, heart love um, pattern too. So. Oh my gosh, there's so many free patterns at Stitches Quilting. Okay, be sure to go download them before because I've probably got like 20 free patterns now, I think. But, but I am trying to write my patterns shorter so you guys don't have to use printer ink. But just keep them on your, your devices. Don't print them off because they're right now they're too long on pages. Okay, you guys. Um, I Dolores, it's so good to see you. Uh, oh, Dolores is sewing on a binding. Um, Stacy is working on a tumbler quilt. Fun. Um, Dolores is also sorting her scraps. I have mine in bins by color and all of those things. So anyways, okay, you guys have a really good weekend. I'm going to miss you guys until Monday, but I'm going to be getting stuff done and I've gotten tons of weeding done, lots of stuff. So love you guys and I'll see you guys on Monday. Uh, Francis, I will get the link for the pattern in the YouTube video. So we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Talk